In just a few hours, students and teachers will return to Wilmer Hutchins High School in Dallas, just days after a student opened fire on campus. Now, this was the scene on Friday. As you can imagine, very scary moments for everyone involved. Our Richard Solomon is live near the school this morning with more. And Richard, we know school leaders are taking some extra security measures today. Yeah, Dia, and in just a few hours, extra security guards as well as counselors will be here as students, staff, and teachers return back to Wilmer Hutchins High School just days after a student shot another classmate inside the school. Now, anytime you hear about or we talk about a school shooting, it is absolutely terrifying, not only for the teachers and the students, but also the parents. And at this time, there's still a bunch of questions as to how a gun was even snuck onto campus. And we know that is something the school leaders are trying to figure out as there are metal detectors in the buildings and students are required to wear clear backpacks. But on Friday morning, morning, those horrific moments, police say a 17 year old student shot a classmate in the leg inside the school. They were able to arrest, arrest that suspect shortly after and police believe the two students knew each other. Now, thankfully, the student shot is expected to be OK and no one else was injured. But this sent this area into a lockdown for several hours and left parents understandably frustrated and worried as they waited for answers and to be reunited with their kids. Take a listen. You feel helpless because you can't get to your son. You know, you can't get to your heart, to your joy. I'm emotionally stressed. I'm drained. I'm frustrated. I'm angered. And at this time, police have not yet released the identity of that 17 year old shooter. But we know tomorrow there will be an urgent community leader or community meeting held by school leaders, and hopefully to get more answers into this situation. We know that Dallas ISD police is investigating um, their response to this situation. We'll have more updates for you coming up at the top of the hour. For now, live in Dallas this morning, I'm Richard Solomon. Back to you in studio. All right. Thank you, Richard.